Welcome to the first edition of our Vandy Boys Untold Stories series with 2017 Vanderbilt DH and closer Reed Hayes. Reed, great to see you, man. Thanks for doing this. Great to see you, Max. No problem, man. We're going to go through what I think is the most representative inning of your Commodore career, April 28th, 2017. You are batting the cleanup hitter in DH against the Tennessee Vols. And you hit this one pretty hard out to center, almost brought a run in, but it's the final out of the bottom of the eighth. So you've been DHing this whole game, and you had warmed up before this, and now you're going to come in to close it out. So take us through what's going through your head as you make that last out, hit it hard, and now you have to come and finish the game on the mound. Oh, well, in the moment of the bat, I was just focused on putting a good swing on that specific pitch. And then after I registered the line out, I just go back in the dugout, get a drink, and then go out to the mound to finish the game. You really took your time there. So you had warmed up in the early part of that inning. And obviously, I mean, you're hot and ready to go coming back into the dugout. But how important is it for you to catch your breath, come back out, and make sure pitching suddenly becomes the priority? Yeah, I would say it's important for well, for any player to get ready to go in there and perform, especially mentally. But what you're, what you're talking about going from hitter to pitcher, it's kind of rare in college baseball, but I did it in junior college my whole life, so it's kind of second nature for me, I guess. It's extremely rare to do that at Vandy. It's extremely rare for Vanderbilt to take junior college transfers. You were both of those things coming into your junior and only year at Vandy in 2017. What were your expectations coming into that year from Walter State Community College and hoping to do both, but not really being sure? Um, my expectations were I just wanted to get on the field any way possible. So that's that was the only goal, and that's the goal that I reached. If I would have told you when you showed up at Vandy for the first time in August 2016 that you were going to be the cleanup hitter, the everyday DH, and the closer on a super regional team, would you have taken that? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Did you get a sense when you showed up at Vandy how rare it was for someone to be doing what you were doing, whether it was the two-way player or the JUCO, things like that? Yeah, I knew – Um. I knew that Vanderbilt didn't take many junior college transfers, just the way the uh, Coach Corbin runs his organization. So I knew it was a special opportunity to go there from junior college and then being able to hit and pitch both in the regular season and help the team win games was, was I mean, everything I could ask for, obviously. But doing both, it just it gave me a better opportunity to get on the field one way or another. All right, you ready to watch your best inning as a Commodore? Yep. Why was this one special to you, pitching against Tennessee? Uh, well, personally, I mean, I don't know if not many people know this, but I was committed there out of high school. And then uh, and then on my, like, not necessarily my, I took my official visit in the fall, and then in the spring when I was about to commit, uh, the coach, like, told me they, they did not have my scholarship anymore because of uh, – they were giving it to junior college guys, so it's kind of funny how this story turned out. So here you are two years later, having pitched in junior college, pitching for Tennessee's biggest rival against them, and that was a slider. It was all fastball slider this inning, I believe, but looking at the velocities on these fastballs, mid to upper 90s, the adrenaline was flowing for you. Yeah, for sure, especially, I mean, this was the, I think this might have been the first time I threw mid to upper 90s ever in my life so the adrenaline definitely helped me a lot because I'm not a big guy I don't throw hard off of I guess physical just raw physical ability it's more of effort and adrenaline for sure that was 94 the 2-1 pitch to Jordan Rogers Connor Kaiser's got it handled that's the first out and this is a one nothing game I mean this is a really tight game you were in it on the hitting side all the way what does it feel like to be on the field for a rivalry game like this Friday night opening game of an SEC series? Uh, I mean, the energy is electric and it's very, very intense and strong competitive, strong competition going on between two good schools. Another soft out there. So two up, two down. That's Luke Lipsius. Andre Lipsius' brother is going to be your final adversary here. And this coming up is one of my favorite at-bats I've ever seen at Vanderbilt. Because we could feel it with you, crowds on their feet, and you do not miss your spot once in this at bat. 
<laughs> so let's go pitch by pitch here and talk about what you're thinking, what you and Jason DeLay and Scott Brown are calling in this situation. Um, you know, I can't – trying to think back the exact at bat was – that was a fastball. I think that was a slider foul tip. Okay, I can't I, – I couldn't really see it. But, yeah, I mean, it was just attack mode and – my best stuff versus the hitter. That's pr it's pretty simple, but that's what happened in the moment. So you're ahead 0-1 here. Let's see what you guys go with. 95. <laughs> yes, sir. So we've got some guns up in the background, too, radar guns up behind home plate. A couple months after this, you'd be drafted 13th round as a pitcher to the Baltimore Orioles, still in that organization, as that one's fouled off. You got to think outings like this one on the big stage really helped you get to that goal. Yeah, this was probably the outing that, well, it definitely got me drafted, but also taught me that I could, you know, be a late inning closer and throw mid mid nineties, and then in pro ball, the adrenaline is just it just goes up a little tick more. So, just really taught me that, you know being a closer at the end of the game was possible and just to go compete and have fun. Another 95, fouled off still. So we're four pitches deep and it's still 0-2. And I don't know if you remember what's coming here, Reed. This is the last pitch of the ball game coming up. That might give it away for you, but this one's going to be nasty. Yeah, I remember this slider. <laughs> is this the best slider you ever threw? Probably, yeah. Wow. Jason DeLay's got you covered behind the dish. Of course. What are you Jay thinking after this win? Emotional moment right there. Uh, I was just happy, man. It was um, – I mean, just for me, going to Vanderbilt was a long shot. And just being there competing was a lot of fun. So those are memories I always, always remember and brings me joy. We got some great guys in there. We got Kyle Wright, of course, who would be a first-round pick that year, pitching for the Braves now. We got some of your fellow JUCO boys in there. Justin Wilson gets in there at the end. That was an interesting Vanderbilt team in 2017. And part of the reason that you and two other JUCO transfers, Justin Wilson and Paxton Stover, came in was they needed pitchers. It, it was the season after Donnie Everett tragically passed away. Evan Steele was supposed to be part of that rotation, and he had transferred. What was the sense you got when you came into the program and as the season went on about – how much you guys were really needed and about how much this team needed contributions from unlikely sources? Uh, personally, I really wasn't – I didn't really know that the team was in need. I was just wanting to earn earn some play time. So – and I knew I had to be productive fast considering I was already a junior and um, some of these guys have already been in the uh, program for a little longer than me. So I just knew I needed to be productive fast. Did you think about sticking around for a second year at Vandy, which would have been your senior year? Yeah, sometimes I sometimes I wish I would have came back and seen what happened to my senior year. But in that moment, I wanted to go play professional baseball, so can't live with the regret of that. But going back for a senior, I wish it'd be nice if you could live in a world you could do both, but you can't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we saw you chime in on Tim Corbin's Periscope. Coach yeah. Corbin said you should have stayed for a senior year, and then he gave his favorite Reed Hayes moment about yeah. how you called him standing next to the painting of his face on the mural on yeah. the side of the building on campus. It was him, Derek Mason, and both basketball coaches. Uh -huh. He said you called him in the middle of the night <laughs> and asked what it's like to have your face on the side of a building. Is that a correct recounting of the story from Coach Corbin? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. And did you get a satisfactory answer? Yeah, it was funny. That's why I like Coach Corbin. He's a really good – he builds good relationships with his players. So felt like I could talk to him at any time. Reed Hayes, Baltimore Orioles, Vanderbilt Commodores, Walter State, Science Hill High School. And this year, great team name for the East Tennessee boy from Johnson City, Tennessee, the Florence Yalls. You're the man, Reed. Thanks so much for doing this. And I hope we told a little bit more of a Vandy boy's untold story. I appreciate it, Max. Take care, man. Hey, everybody. I'm Wheels. I hope you enjoyed this cool interview between Max and Reed. Before we go, I'm going to play the Tim Corbin clip that Max and Reed were talking about. What about my arm coach, Reed Hayes? Reed, I haven't talked to you in a while. Uh, I miss you, buddy. 
you asked some very interesting questions in the one year that you were here. Uh, you should have been here two years, but you, you didn't. Uh, but that's that's okay. Um, I hope your mom and dad are, are doing okay. So please tell them I said hello. Yeah, your arm's pretty good. Um, you're a pretty good hitter too. Uh, pretty good breaking ball. Uh, you didn't slow the ball down too much. I don't think your changeup was that good, but you had a good arm and a uh, pretty good slider and you were a good competitor too. Yeah, I, I, I miss you for sure. I hope you're doing okay. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Reed Hayes, by the way, he's from East Tennessee. He went to junior college before coming here. When my face was painted on the side of the, the building facing the Holiday Inn, Reed Hayes called me in the middle of the night one time and said, Coach, do you like seeing your face on the side of that building? And he just wanted to know how I felt about that. I thought it was one of the strangest questions I was ever asked, but I, yeah, that's, that's Reed Hayes to a T. Yeah, good to hear from you, Reed. 